trips to a couple different thrift stores but there's everything in this haul there's dresses there's 90s grunge there's early 2000s there's denim there's lingerie because it's me and I always have to stop in the lingerie section and I usually don't leave without buying a lot of things anyways if that sounds fun to you please keep on watching and check out what I got so I'm going to just jump right in and start talking about the clothes I've been thrifting. So I can start off with what I'm wearing, which is this really cool vest that is giving me like blossom vibes, kind of pretty in pink vibes, especially with this like fabulous, these fuchsia um, roses and flowers on here. This also is such a wonderful, like, yummy fabric. It's, I, th I guess it's velvet, but it's not super hot the way that I find velvet to normally be. And then I guess the back is all silk. It's been really trendy for people to be thrifting, um, like, sweater vests recently. And I do like that trend, but I'm not sure that that trend is super me. But I feel like this is a really cool take that is more in the direction of my vibe. I tried really hard not to wear something that I bought in the thrift haul for this part of the video, but I was like, no, I have to wear this vest. It's so cool. And I definitely plan on when I wear it, I'm gonna wear it like this for the most part. I think I'll just wear it as like a top. Yeah, that is this vest. Moving on to the next item. Okay, so I'll start with this. I've been wearing this too. This is more of like a loungewear piece, even though it's a denim shirt. I see it more as like something I can layer over like tank tops and stuff around the house, but it has no collar, if you can see. Here, I'll put it on so you can understand what I'm talking about. It doesn't have a collar. I've been wearing it cuffed, but I'll show you this side is uncuffed. So it's a little bit, the arms are a little bit short on me, if you can tell, duh. Um, but I've been loving just layering this on top of like loungewear. This is like a super lightweight, nice little denim shirt. So this other denim shirt that I always end up wearing around the house, just lounging around, and I want to, I wanted to replace it. So I'm replacing it with this because that other shirt I wear outside the house most of the time. And always when I want to wear it outside of the house, it's dirty because I've been wearing it so much inside. So now I have replaced that. Um, I want to show you, oh, okay, so because it's me, it would not be a thrift haul unless I bought a bunch of lingerie, obviously. And lingerie slash nightgown slash sleepwear slash lacy satiny bedroom clothes, I guess. Um, so I'm going to start with this little romper question mark i mean it's it's not a romper but it does have shorts i don't know what you call these a little it's not a teddy because it's not super sexy but you can see the gorgeous neckline this is super pure white though and the only and i'm not opposed to that but it feels like a recipe for me to um like stain this guy so I actually want to dye it. I would love for it to be like blush. That would be really pretty. I don't know. This plus a robe, a sexy silky robe is a lovely loungewear opportunity. I also bought a couple of other nighty lingerie-esque pieces. So this I think is so pretty. It's actually a dress, a little slip dress. This neckline and the colors Oh my gosh, so pretty. What brand is this? So it's a brand called Wendy Ann, which I don't know that brand, but it looks a lot like the Victoria's Secret gold label slip dresses from like the early 2000s and the late 90s. This is so pretty and because it has this like beautiful, super lightweight, thin fabric, I can tuck it into jeans and wear it as just a top if I wanted to. I also have definitely been known to wear slip dresses out layer them with like 
either a t-shirt or a turtleneck underneath and a pair of tights. That's what I wore, I think. Oh, it was one of the last times I went out before the quarantine ended. I wore on Valentine's Day this Victoria's Secret slip dress over um, a turtleneck. I'll post a picture of that. So, illy. Really excited to find different ways to style this. Ugh. Oh, this is, I've wanted, I don't have a lot of yellow in my closet, but I really like yellow. And I found this yellow, I think this is actually vintage. This is like, for sure, I want to say maybe it's from the 70s. I think its tag is really old. Yeah, so it has a really old tag. It might even be older than that. It is the brand Henson Kickernick. This honestly, I'm just going to probably wear with jeans for the most part, maybe layered underneath overalls, something really fun. It's so bright and sunny and it's got this like see-through panel in the middle. I lucked out with this one. I have so many tops like this, but I wear them like almost every day and to find one that isn't in one of the colors that I normally have, like I have so many that are pink or black, but this one is my new yellow top. So, okay, this is the last in the sort of lingerie ballpark of things. I bought a bra, which I feel like people get yucked out by stuff like that, but look at how pretty this thing is. I paid $3.80. This is so beautiful. I did a little striptease rated G situation in the video to try to show you how nice this lace detailing looks. Um, just popping out from the bottom of this vest and then even around the top of the bra itself. So it's actually Victoria's Secret, but it's really sturdy. It has, like, I'll show you, this is the clamp? Is that what you call this? I don't know. The clip has, like, a lot of reinforcement. It has three layers, which I don't find that a lot in bralettes. You find that in, like, a real bra, right? With an underwire, but... I'm not about that life. Seriously, it's like my new favorite bralette. And I thrifted it. Like, come on. All right, so these are some fabulous plaid trousers, which I love pants like this. I already have a pair of pants that are kind of in this ballpark that I had bought from Free People. I bought them full price from Free People. Um, I really like them, but they're stretching out now. They don't really fit quite as well as they did when I first bought them, just because they're not super high quality materials. However, these are like super nice. What brand are they? They are Land's End. And definitely these are baggier than the fit I expected. I would say that these are definitely like trousers you would wear to an office and they're more of that shape than like a sexy butt hugging like plaid pant, which was low-key what I was hoping for. <laughs> okay, moving on. Since we are in the plaid ballpark right now, I wanted to share with you this dress. This is a midi length dress, so it's gonna be hard for me to show you everything on camera. Isn't this just the cutest thing? Ties in the back, it's clearly very um, 90s. It gives me huge my so-called life vibes. Like this and a pair of Doc Martens or loafers, something like that. It's very much like a more modest dress, so I love the idea of pairing something like sexy and kind of the opposite of that because it's like this long dress. Like, what could you wear with this? Like a leather jacket or... Ooh, or if you had like a denim vest, that would look really cool with this. I don't own a denim vest right now. I wish I did because that would look so sick. Um, anyways, I love this though. This is one of those dresses too. You can just throw it on and you don't have to do anything else. You just wear the dress, put on your shoes, and you're in a whole outfit. I got this first and then I was at a different thrift store and I was inspired to purchase this dress. This is also such a, a really flattering neckline for it to be this like button up. I thought this was a mini dress too. It's definitely a very long dress. So when I tried it on when I got home, I was like, okay, so the styling options are a little bit different than what I expected. And I threw it on with some sneakers and I thought that was so cool to do the sort of like athleisure take on things with this long maxi dress. 
Um, I thought that was just really fun and an exciting way to wear. Again, this is like sort of a more modest look, but I wanted to pair it with something like really young and youthful. Like I have these, there's Steve Madden sneakers that I wore with this. And I love the just sort of juxtaposition of those two style moments of like cool, funky, chunky sneakers, and then almost like a dress that you would expect like your grandma to wear to church and then combine them. And that is my personal style in a nutshell. The last thing I bought, oh, I love this too. I saw this from across the room in the thrift store and I just saw the fabric and I was like, whatever that is, I at the very least need to touch it. And so I went over and I pulled out this bell sleeve. Okay, this, and it has a collar too, like what? It's this see-through mesh top and it has this really wonderful pattern, sort of this crisscross wavy, different shades of blue thing going on. I've mostly bought it because of this insane bell sleeve that I just, chef's kiss, this is gorgeous. Um, this is so early Y2K, early like 2000s, maybe late 90s, but I think that this is more of like a 2000s shirt. I can't hardly stand it. Um, I have so many ideas for how I want to wear this. I want to wear this underneath a graphic t-shirt. I want to layer dresses with this. I wonder if I could wear it. Like, could I wear it under this? Is that too wild? Something like that? Is that kind of cool? I don't know. These sleeves, though, I'm like, I will put them under everything now. This, though, might actually be my favorite purchase. I don't know. This is my, this one and this vest. I don't know. I, I really like everything that I bought. It's, it's so much fun for fall. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'll link down below my Instagram and Depop so that you can keep up with me there as well. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Okay, these are my earrings today too. I just wanted to show them off a little bit. I have this cowboy boot because I am in Texas, gotta represent. And then I paired it with a little celestial sun.